I'll be showcasing our new tool, the Workflow Builder. This is a tool that lets you build different calculation workflows, and so in a typical work session will be needed once you've built your structures, and is followed by job submission, either on your local computer or a remote compute cluster. Let's look at a more complicated workflow to calculate the equation of states of silicon. This will require the use of an iteration block as we'll need to run the calculation over a range of different cell sizes. We'll start off by creating a new workflow and renaming it, and loading up the silicon configuration again. And once more, we can use the template version of the LCO calculator, and this time we're going to add a total energy analysis block. And now comes the fun part, where we get to set up the iteration block. This is a container type block, which means we need to drop whatever we want to iterate over into it. We'll be using the scale volume method of the bulk configuration to change the cell volume. So in the iteration block, we need to set up a scaling factor iteration variable as a range of floats. So the name here is important insofar as it'll show up as an option for float parameters in the other blocks. Let's do a scan starting from 0.8, the step size of 0 0.02 for 20 steps. Now that we have our iteration variable set up, we need to be able to call the scale volume method. And for this, we'll drop in a custom block just after the configurations block. These can be used to inject script snippets into a workflow within the framework of the workflow builder. So there's really no need to edit a script manually anymore. We need to tell the block what type of input to expect and what type of output it will produce, which in this case is a configuration for both. Next, we need to add a parameter, which we'll call volume scale. which we can then use to write the simple one-line script snippet. Finally, to tie this all together, we go to the widget page to find a new float field for our volume scale. And if we click on the blue arrow here, we can find our iteration parameter as a special value that can be assigned to the field. Oops, now the calculator block is invalid. So let's see what this is about. Configuration is of unknown type, cannot set calculator. Okay, so this is due to something I forgot to set in the custom block, which is the type of the configuration that it outputs. So if we go back and correct this, now the calculator knows what to expect. Good, so in summary, what we've done is to set up a custom block to call scale volume on our configuration with a parameter named volume scale that takes its value from an iteration variable called scaling. With the algorithm blocks, you should in principle be able to do anything you would have done previously by manually editing a script, and I'll leave the remaining algorithm blocks for you to discover yourselves. This workflow is now ready to be sent off for execution, but since it'll take a while, I just skipped to where I already have some results. So if we sift the results a bit, I can select all of these total energy calculations and use the report tool to generate the final plot. You see we already have an equation of states research protocol that we can just run. And now on the final page, we get our equation of states plots. So there you have it, the workflow builder in a nutshell.